Hi everyone, this is PR Dance Slides and welcome back again to another PowerPoint tutorial. And today I'll be teaching you on how we could create this mind-blowing layout here on PowerPoint. So, let's get started. So initially, make sure that we have a transparent photo of a person here on our presentation. You could search some of the photos on your Google, copy and paste it here on your PowerPoint. And in order for you to remove the background, just go to the picture format and hit remove background. And go ahead and mark all the areas that you want to keep and mark the areas that you want to remove. Just like this. Alright, so make sure that we have this kind of output right over here. Now, next thing that we need to do, if you would like to adjust the color of your photo, go ahead and select some of the adjustments right over here, just like this. But I prefer to stick on this kind of adjustment that I have created earlier. So the next thing that we need to do is go to insert and hit text box. And let us put the name of the person right over here. There you go. And then after that, go and hit the text direction and select this one. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is go to Shape Format and go to Text Effect and go to Transform and hit the the square warp section right over here. Oh, this is important because we could enlarge this text as much as we would like And to. after that, let's go ahead and choose the perfect font style for our presentation today. Alright, so after that, let's position this text right over here. And let us enlarge the photo a little bit. And in order for us to cover this text section over the body of this person and the upper section of the text for the head part of the person. Alright, so we will just duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl D. After that, let's position first all of these elements at the middle of our slide. Just like this one. There we go. So just, we will be doing a little bit of adjustment. You could just follow the things that I'm currently doing right over here. Make sure that we have this kind of position of elements here on our slide. So the next thing that we need to do, which is the most important part, first we need to select the photo. After that, hold shift and then select your text. Then after that, go to shape format and then go to merge shapes and select intersect. There you go. You should have this kind of layout right over here. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is to copy all of these elements right over here on our presentation. Paste it right over here and we should have these three important elements for our final output. And the next thing that we need to do is to change the font color of this text. So I'll be choosing um, the dark red or maroon color and don't forget to put shadow on it. There you go, and position it right over here. There you go. And don't forget to move it at the back of this element. The next one, let's position our main photo at the top of these two elements. Right over here, just like that. There you go. Then go ahead to the picture format and let's crop this main photo. So let's crop this photo below the neck of the person. There you go, you should have like that. And then after that, let's crop the left and right side of the photo. So aligning the uh, crop, aligning the cropping of the photo, which is similar to the um, position of the text. So yeah, that's it. That's how we created this mind-blowing layout. So let's just select all of these elements and hit Ctrl G to group them all. There you go. And that's how you create this kind of awesome layout here on PowerPoint. Alright, hope you've learned something. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, so after that, let's put some text at the side of our main element right over here. So I've inserted a text box and after that, go to text effect, transform, and hit this curve up 
design of the text and go ahead and select your font for this um, text right over here and enlarge it and position it at the side of our element right over here there you go and after that um, go ahead and select the color of your text so for me I go here in the shape format at the shape format and go to text field and select the dark maroon and then duplicate the text and remove the text fill of it but go to text outline and select the color black so i'll be choosing color black for this one and don't forget to increase the weight to one and a half there you go and just position it right over here it's like have this kind of shadow effect for our layout today for that let's first copy the logo of the car on our first slide and also this f1 car right over here and after that paste it right over here on our slide so if you like the us where did i get this go ahead and search transparent photo for this logo and this f1 car on the internet all right after that go ahead and position it right over here so for the black effect at the back of the slide go to shapes and select the curve line and what i'm currently doing right over here is to select stretch drag then click select stretch drag and click just to have this kind of uh, motion lines right over here there you go so it looks like um it looks like a mess but yeah you, you just have to trust the process so that's how I created this um, dark shape effect at the back of our slide. I mean, at the back of our main layout. Change the color of this element to color black. And let's put it at the back of our element. There you go. And I think I created much cooler effect compared to the first one that I created earlier. And that's pretty much it. And the next thing that we need to do is to change the background color of our slide and but first if you would like to change the effect of your main photo just go ahead and go to picture format and artistic effect but for me i'll just um keep this kind of format for my photo right over here select your background right click on it and select um, format background go to gradient fill and go ahead and select the color for each gradient stops but for me i'll be um using the um dark maroon and um darker gray for our presentation so this is how i change the color of the gradient stops there you go so that's pretty much it i hope you've learned something and our final output let's have the float in animation for all of the elements for our presentation there you have it so this is our final output and I hope you really learned something and you could apply this on your presentation in the future. So thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to like, subscribe and do comment if you would like other more tutorials in the future and yeah what do you think about our tutorial today. Thank you so much God bless us all and do not forget to live with Christ. See you again next time. Thank you and goodbye.